What's up YouTube? This is Phenomenally and I am here to show you how to curl cheap hair with curls that will last and last and last, okay? Um, it's an interesting technique and I'm going to show you what you're going to need. Now what you're going to need in order to do this project, um, basically all I, I didn't put any product in it except some finishing spray, which is just some shine spray by Bio Silk. And it is uh, shine on. It's the finish spray. And then before I even started the process, I put a dime size amount of my cheese silk infusion. Put it in my hand. Did this motion. Just kind of rubbed it into my hands and just worked it through the hair section by section. And that is all the product that I have in my hair. Except for my leave out, which is um, I used a little bit of the Care Care, Care Wax Stick. okay now let's get to it. what you're going to need is simple if you're going to be doing this on a three-fourth wig you're going to need a dome head some t-pins you're going to need foil and it doesn't have to be this kind of foil it can be regular foil and what i did is i took the foil out let me back up I took the foil out like multiple sheets, multiple sheets of the foil and take some, you're going to need some scissors of course, you take it, cut it up the middle, you take the sheets and put them together. I'm going to cut it down the middle again. And so you have these squares. You're going to need butterfly clips. Comb. And a flat iron. And that is everything that you're going to need in order to do this process. Um, to get started, let's just let's just get started. I say that a lot. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned. All right, this is the three fourth wig. Before we got started, we're just going to section it off into about six to nine sections so that we can work easily. And we're just going to start foiling the hair. And we use our butterfly clips to sep separate the hair. This is the head halfway done. And we're going to come in and show you how we roll each row. Okay, we're taking it around our fingers and then wrapping it around one finger and pushing it through so that the ends get curled and they're tucked inside of the pin, pin curl. Now we're taking some foil and we're just going to wrap that curl up with the foil. Now we're going to continue to show you this in real time and then we're going to speed it up for you.
Okay, when you start getting up towards the front of the, your wig, you're going to start rolling the hair backwards. And you're going to use your index finger or your pinky, depending on what size you want your curl to be. I'm going to use my index finger because I don't want them super tight, but I want them kind of tight. So, here we go. This is my finger wrap, loosely wrap it so you can get your finger out of it but when you get down to the ends use your fingertips to wrap the end okay. and you're just going to scrunch that off the foil what it should look like when you are done foiling the whole head and now we're going to take our flat irons and put it on its highest temperature which is 450 for our flat irons and we're going to heat each and every foil on the head for at least 10 to 20 seconds each you get that foil really really hot and then we're going to leave it in there for at least 10 to 15 minutes to allow the curl to completely cool. Do not take the foil out until it is cool to touch. Once it's cool to touch, you can take down the foil and the curls are complete. It's been about 10 minutes and we're going to take a look at these foils I'll show you how to remove them. As you can see, here's one curl and it's bouncy. So let's start with those curls. And it's, I mean, I just installed it so it's super curly. I haven't really tamed it well because I got things to do, but that you get the gist of it.